Intraocular pressure has become a standard procedure. We have a number of tonometry methods available. We have Bowman tonometry, the Pascal tonometry, we have the air puffs, we have the tonal pants, uh, and newly to the market uh, that we have is diatom tonometry. The diatom tonometry is the only tonometer which, which will allow you to measure intraocular pressure through the eyelid and more importantly through the sclera. It's the only non-corneal tonometry where the readings that you will be receiving are independent of biometric properties of the cornea. Let me demonstrate how this device operates. Uh, we'll have a patient, please. Okay, we use a regular chair for the patient. You hold the device, one, two, three. Position the patient a little with the head tilted back and extend the thumb. The thumb uh, actually allows us to uh, make sure the eye is uh, centered. Okay, I would use the edge of my palm for support on the patient's forehead. Gently pull on the eyelid to make sure the edge of the lid is above the edge of the limbus. One, two, three. The device gives you a long beep, minus three is number of readings. Press the center button, you get the average of the readings. For the second eye, you're still on the same side of the patient. Make sure the, uh, the patient is looking at the finger. Here I use the index finger, here I would use the thumb to make sure the edge of the lid is above the edge of the limbus. We want to make sure the uh, eyelid is above the cornea to make the reading. One. What we're trying to avoid, we want to make sure the eyelid does not slide onto the cornea. We want to be above the cornea. Two. Three. The device yet again gives you a long beep. Press the second button, you get the uh, reading. So we got 15, 16. Thank you, Angelus. Uh, how did you How did you feel? All right. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Great. So uh, this uh, this uh, tonometry method yet again allows you to obtain intraocular pressure independent of the corneal property. So this is the non corneal tonometry. Also, what would, what I would like to demonstrate is uh, yet again the ease of use. The way you operate it is one, two, three, three fingers on one side, a thumb on the other, tilt back. The little floater falls inside. You come back to initial vertical position, turn it on, four zeros on the display, place it on the eyelid, upper eyelid, and gently release downwards. Okay, you would get, be getting digital results. So as you will see, uh, these are uh, stationary uh, units that are available. This is a portable uh, device that, yet again, uh, does not require anesthetic drops. Uh, no need for uh, any uh, tips, and uh, it's quick. As you saw, only took us a few seconds for both eyes. Uh, painless. Uh, the patients uh, are somewhat enjoying the uh, procedure. Uh, yet again, versus maybe some of the invasive, invasive methods. Uh, speaking of enjoying and uh, patient friendliness of the device, uh, this tonometry method can be used for children uh, because the reading is done outside of the visual field. Okay, because they don't see or squeamish patients uh, that are a little hesitant, so they don't see anything actually coming into their eye, as well as there is no numbing drops. So some of the uh, uh, benefits of this tonometry me method, besides being no contact with the cornea and uh, readings independent of biometric properties of the cornea, uh, in cases uh, such as uh, corneal pathology or uh, in cases uh, such as uh, keratoprosthesis that uh, we've had, uh, there's no risk of infecting, uh, no no drops, no consumable sterilization, no no need to adjust your reading with the pachymetry because the reading is done through the eyelid and sclera. So taking cornea out of the equation. And uh, no need to take uh, the contact lenses out to get the reading because the measurement is done above the contact lens. So yet again, uh, just to overview, uh, this tonometry method could be an add-on to any practice that already has the uh, either Coleman or Pascal or any other corneal tonometer because uh, as we well know, uh, there are at least uh, 10, 15 or more percent of cases where tonometry cannot be uh, done through the cornea, such as corneal pathology and uh, some patients that have um, yet again, uh, post laser uh, surgeries and so on. So uh, this has uh, been a quick introduction uh, to diatom tonometry. Uh, we welcome any questions. Uh, you could visit uh, diatomtonometer.com uh, to obtain more information and clinical trials. And uh, looking forward to uh, receive your comments and uh, inquiries. Thank you.